Hello and as always welcome to my channel. It's another rainy vlog but that is good for me because I'm wanting to test out my uh, waterproof vlogging setup. Now it's a bit of a follow-up from yesterday's vlog where I was out on Marsden Moor and I got absolutely soaking wet. I couldn't have got wetter yesterday when I got home. Everything was soaking wet. The only thing that's dried out is my hat so uh, I definitely need some advice on 100% proof 100% waterproof walking equipment um, I've had to use a different bag that's my bag that's my bag that I'm using now because the bag I was carrying that wasn't waterproof either I thought it was the water came straight through the rain driving rain on um, on Mazda Moor so I'm using this backpack now and it does have a rain cover so I'm sure that the backpack is the only 100% waterproof thing that I've got with me today so I'm at uh, Scammenden, Scammenden Dam it says coming a dam there now yesterday if you listen to some of the footage I had like a, a bag over the whole setup and I thought that would be a good idea to protect it from the rain and all you could hear was the rain smashing against the bag so I was a little bit disappointed in the audio now I've got the Rode Video Pro Plus on top of the uh, GoPro with the audio adapter and uh, what I'm basically going to do now from now on is uh, test out just how waterproof this microphone is just as it is standalone so it's getting soaking wet now it's just got the foam cover uh, I have looked I, I took the foam cover off and it's quite a simple setup there's just the tube the shotgun tube and it looks like yeah the, the water the rain should really just absorb into the foam and we'll see how we go on but um, it's just not going to work unless I use it I might buy a dead cat for it I might buy the the big dead cat for over the top of this microphone but as it is right now I don't find it suffers too badly in the wind so let's go for a walk around Scammon Dam and I'll continue to vlog and uh, test the setup because we've got wind and rain again today I'm gonna get soaking wet again now when you live in in Yorkshire you've got to expect weather like this I am at Scammenden Dam we've got the dam behind me it's a lovely walk around definitely recommend uh, a nice walk or a cycle around Scammenden Dam we've got the motorway at the other side that's not so uh, picturesque and you probably hear it whizzing along but when you get further down uh, it's, it's lovely walking around the dam and I like to walk in any weathers I don't mind the weather but my camera equipment does and that's why I built this system around a GoPro Hero 6 completely waterproof but is the microphone waterproof that's the thing so I am going to continue to use this uh, Rode Video Pro Plus in wind snow rain and we're gonna see how it does and whether how much it can cope with the bad weather because I need a microphone of top quality uh, it's an extreme test because the microphone's worth about 200 quid so uh, you know if it gets affected by the rain it's going to be an expensive experiment but uh, I, I think it's going to do well now as I drop down away from the motorway it's going to get a lot quieter and a lot nicer um, so if you live near here or you are passing by Scammon and Dam have a look um, the gates are open early and they close at sunset so you've got plenty of time to have a look around Scammon and Dam now I did actually bring the uh, Canon G7X Mark II uh, with me today but because it started raining I decided I wasn't going to use it but it has actually stopped I'm thinking of getting that out because I haven't used that camera enough yet to uh, become confident in its capabilities the only bits that I'm, I'm unsure about with the Canon G7X is the audio I don't quite know it's uh, how far I can go with it uh, how much of the ambient sound it picks up as opposed to just my voice uh, I don't have that issue with this setup but the Canon G7X apart from that everything is brilliant about that camera uh, the low light um, capabilities of that camera are amazing I wouldn't get that with the uh, with the GoPro Hero 6 I wouldn't get the low light very rare that I do anything in low light but it's nice to have a camera that will cope with that but it's just the audio that I wanted to test and I might just get that out um, and uh, and give it a whirl 
I am so glad that the rain has stopped. It is raining a tiny bit just as I say that but uh, it's basically stopped so I think it's going to be okay to get the G7X Mark II out. If you can give me any information on how waterproof that camera is I think it'll be zero. I don't think uh, you can use that in the rain but uh, I'm going to get that out just as a comparison because its weakness is um, is the audio and the way it catches the wind on the top of the microphones. I've got a little wind muff uh, on there so um, we'll see how we go. I've seen some people online on YouTube that are saying that it's not too bad put a wind muff on and it's okay but I'm not sure that they are walking in uh, extreme conditions uh, like I do so um, I'm going to get that camera out I'm going to have a little walk around as just as a, a comparison. So I am using the uh, Canon G7X Mark II uh, with the internal microphones because you don't get a choice that's the only option you've got there's no external microphones and that is this camera's weakness now I've got the flip screen down uh, because that's another thing that I found out that with the flip screen down it sort of doesn't capture your voice as well because uh, I found that with it up your voice hits the screen and uh, and just kind of drops down onto the microphone um, so that's a little tip for you so at the moment I'm using it with the flip screen down and there is a wind I am up here um, looking over Scammon Dam and there is a little bit of a breeze so it's going to be interesting for me to see uh, how well it does now I'm going to flip the screen up and you might see a difference you might hear a difference so that's the screen flipped up now I'm just talking the same same distance away and I'm pretty sure it'll be catching my voice a little bit better so uh, most people would use it with the the screen flipped up I actually am not too bothered about that because I find it I find it very distracting uh, with uh, my old face just above the camera I'd rather look right into the lens but that's a learning curve so uh, yeah it might be performing a little bit better and of course it might be just blocking out a little bit of that breeze so that's just an experiment uh, so you can hear it now so what do you think yeah there's quite a breeze there now I'm gonna knock this I'm gonna knock the uh, I'm gonna put the flip screen down again now so that's the flip screen down and uh, you might be able to hear a slight difference and maybe it's picking up a little bit more wind so flip screen back up that's the flip screen back up again uh, so I actually do detect a difference there myself when I listen to it back on my uh, on my computer so you let me know but the video quality of this camera is amazing stabilization is brilliant The only weakness of this camera is its uh, audio because the internal microphones. So uh, we've got some uh, geese just flying over there behind me. See them. Flying over Scammonden Dam. So it's turned out to be a pretty good walk around Scammonden Dam today. I thought I was going to get soaking wet, but looking over there, where the weather's coming from, I think I'm going to be okay. So uh, I've got uh, I've got all the way back there. We've got all the way back over there to go back to the car so I've still got a bit of a walk to do and I think I'll continue to test out the G7X Mark II. Just look at the water levels here at Scamden Dam. The rain can't come soon enough. So as I walk along the side of Scamden Dam, and I'm walking in an area where it's normally completely covered with water, but due to the fantastic summer that we've had, uh, there's hardly any water in this uh, in this dam. But this is quite an interesting test for the G7X. I've got the sunshine directly behind me and it's uh, famed for a brilliant dynamic uh, range, uh, this camera. So that would be an interesting test, see how it's coping. Now it has a little feature in the G7X Mark II where um, it actually recognizes my face. You put a few pictures of your face into it. It's 
inside the camera software and it actually detects your face so when we're on face detection which we're on on the screen it comes up Rob so it knows who I am and when you've got it in that mode what you'll find is that uh, if you're wanting to focus on something other than your face it and your face is still in the picture it won't do it it won't auto focus on something else so if you're holding something close up to the camera um, you might find you have to put your hand behind it so that you're hiding your own face because it does recognize faces and it if you've programmed it to recognize your face it will lock on which is brilliant for vlogging so they really did think about that and it works it works really well for obvious reasons i need some 100 percent waterproof walking equipment shoes trousers jacket and hat because i do like to walk in the uh, extreme conditions and we do get them in yorkshire so just in case you couldn't hear me yesterday and it might still be the case today because uh, the wind is blowing right over the g7x mark ii so it's a good test it's got a little wind buff on there so you might not be able to hear me today even but i'm going to try and get my message across to you guys i need a little bit of help and advice on 100 percent waterproof walking equipment look at that uh, jetty it just goes out to nothing we'll just pull the boat the rest of the way that's how little water there is in scammon and dam right now so i've looked on amazon looking for 100 percent waterproof walking gear such as boots and a lot of the companies even some of the top companies they're not really committing to that it's a hundred percent waterproof it just says waterproof water resistant uh, so I'm a bit uh, I'm a little bit unsure so uh, if you have got some advice for me on 100% uh, waterproof shoes jacket and trousers and maybe a hat gloves I think I'm gonna need some gloves so I need some uh, I need some pointers on on what to get it's getting a little bit uneven underfoot how's the stabilization doing let's just nip up here So I hope you've enjoyed this little trip around Scamden Dam. If you have liked it, give me a like and consider subscribing. If you subscribe to me, I'll subscribe to you. Is that how it works? Okay, until the next one. Bye.